speaker is Kingsley Qualar of Still Fresh Recoveries. Uh, Kingsley will be presenting to us on the transportation and infrastructure risks in South Africa. Please welcome Kingsley. And moving on now to um, OHADA, which uh, there are 17 member countries in the OHADA region, basically um, the French-speaking countries in Africa. Um, what happens here is there's a similarity between the law, the OHADA law, and what happens uh, in Europe or under CMR with, with a few nuances. Um, um, OHADA law would typically apply in all the countries that have been listed on there. Um, but, but what we feel that you should know is what are, or under which heads can you um, find a car carrier liable for damage to your cargo. And, and more specifically, we're looking at Article 14, um, which deals with notification. Um, as opposed to Hague and Hague visible rules where failing to notify a carrier would simply reverse the burden of proof under this law, failure to do so would almost exonerate the carrier. So that is something that we would like our, our clients to pay attention to. Um, then equally as important are the, t are the time bars. Um, under the Act, um, there's one year and three years, and one year for where the delivery, or from the delivery date, or from the date of estimated time arrival, and three years where there was mis willful misconduct. And there are certain cases that we've, we've listed on here, including um, Arrêt numéro 24, and that was in, in Ni Niger, or Niger. And what happened in this case um, was that um, the, the carrier tried to plead that they were not responsible for the damage that uh, happened to pharmaceutical products. But um, the courts held that they are liable if they cannot prove that their acts fell within the exculpatory clauses of this act. Um, then another important um, judgment, I feel, is um, that of Tegum uh, Jules. This happened in Cameroon. It was a transportation of eggs, and it resulted in, accident, in an accident as well. And here you could almost say there's, um, there's an obligation de résultat, um, what in English would be, I, I think it's akin to strict liability, but there's, there's a nuance. So basically the court um, here decided that um, so long as the claimant could establish that there was a contract between both parties and that the carrier couldn't deliver the goods in the same um, 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 status as it was given to them, then the carrier will be held liable. And the third case really talks about um, limitation of um, uh, or, or rather, a time bar if a claim is not brought within, within a year. Then we are going to move over now to um, East Africa. Okay. 